So one of the other great tests uh, that a lot of these kids are facing as athletes is going to be the pro shuttle or what other people call the 5-10-5 where you're basically sprinting five yards, coming back 10, coming finishing with five yards. The, the whole thing with this test is it's, it's a great uh, display of lateral power. You have a change of direction, being able to produce force and your agility, your hips, your overall uh, power and explosiveness in your hips. So just like any other test, we want, to, uh, we want to set our bodies up in the best mechanical advantage. Well, how we do this is we basically break this test down into steps. We have three steps out, we have five steps down, and then we're gonna finish with three more steps. So first things first, I want, you, I want to set you up in the best stance possible, okay? So I like to take a more narrow stance here, and I like the direction we're going, that back leg to be a few inches back. This will allow for us to cross over that front leg more efficiently. I want you to shift your hips back and put your weight on your heels. Now we're gonna put that arm down in the direction we're headed to. Make sure we load the hips and explode out as if we're doing a lateral broad jump. We're gonna take three powerful steps, okay? We're gonna keep our body square to the front where we're facing, basically. We're not gonna square up on the line just yet. So after those three powerful steps, that third one, that inside leg, I want you to land approximately two to three feet away from the line. It's almost as if you're jumping and coming down at the same time with both legs, okay? We wanna basically graze that line, touch it, and then here's where it gets very important. I want you to whip that head around, okay? I want you to whip that head around and lock your eyes on the direct target, the line that we're going to. What this is gonna allow you to do is your eye, your feet will follow your eyes. Next, you're gonna punch that knee up and powerfully over like a swing step, like you were doing some sort of karaoke. After you swing that leg, it's gonna be a straight sprint. I want five steps to the next line, with your shoulders now square to the line. After you get there, that fifth step, you're gonna to wanna to turn it inwards and make that foot parallel with that line. You're gonna swing that other leg outside, coming back around, almost like the jump step we did on the first turn. So now your feet are narrow and they're right at the line. I want you to sweep down, touch the line, whip your head back to the other direction, lock your eyes on the next five yards, punch that outside knee again as if you were doing karaoke, and finish the complete three steps. Like I mentioned, this all comes down to steps. We want three down, we want a quick transition, five back, and then finish with three again. It, everything's about your transition here. So as long as you get that footwork done and sweeping of that leg or punching of that knee, if you will, you're gonna automatically start to lower your pro shuttle, your 5 10, 5 